what is best in life? Well, today we join with uh, Sultan Alandin as he uh, continues his quest to establish his Zoroastrian restoration in the Empire of Persia. Uh, we have uh, formed the Sultanate of Dilam or Sultanate of Moose Jaws at the uh, southern end of the Caspian Sea and we hold uh, more than half of the lands. We still have uh, duchy on the uh, each of the wings on either side of the Caspian Sea that is not in our uh, that is not part of our holding, these two uh, sheikdoms here and the duchy here. However, it looks like the rulers, at least of Ukalid, is too powerful uh, for us to seize. And this land here is, I may not be reading, I just don't, I just can't believe that I'm reading the uh, Sultanate correct. He can't really only have an army this large. Uh, and I guess if, I think I might have to go through the realm tree and add up. Uh, all what all his uh, levies are because I can't believe that the uh, Sultan of an area that large only has that many troops. However, there is a Sultanate that we can seize uh, this gentleman down here and that's what we'll do is we will get going by declaring war upon him and instead of force vassalization which I can do because I am a Shia and he is a Shia I'm going to use my de jure claim as the uh, Sultan of Delam, or Sultan of Moose Jaws, and uh, take the Magra. There we go. Now I will raise my troops. Uh, and uh, one of my prisoners has gotten a good education. And now I will raise my levies. And I also want to set a new open rally point uh, view. I will remove the Quivir rally point and add a rally point here in Galan. Uh, there we go. And start things off. And hopefully I will be able to quickly take down Semarkand. Now I think my council is all adequately employed. Uh, there's a faint knock on the door, followed by a small figure peeking into the room. You remember him well. It's one of the craftsmen that you funded a couple of years ago. He shamefully tells you that the enterprise didn't go exactly as planned, and that their workshop is now bankrupt with nothing to show for it. That was a bad investment. While I am following the business focus to try to increase my statistics of stewardship, which are already pretty good, but it would be nice if they were better, I am actually already the uh, chancellor for the caliph or, or his grand vizier uh, so my diplomacy skill is being put to good use and but i do need to raise my intrigue skill or i may be slain and i am also i joined the assassins last turn and have to accomplish some assassin uh um event or have to raise my uh, level in the uh, secret society of the of the assassins is part of my skill and I want to make sure that I'm not accidentally actually running these armies yeah I don't want to get I need to appoint some commanders of the army minor titles show commanders only all right and Kazwin has converted to the Zoroastrian faith that's excellent um, now let me get with some commanders appointed uh, the court physician, I don't want to lose him. Uh, my brother, I'll risk losing my brother. I don't want to lose him either. Uh, it looks like I don't have any good commanders. And uh, uh, there we go. Uh, news from China. Indenting to enforce their subjugation as a tributary state of the Tang Empire. The Protector General Yi Huang of the Western Protectorate has declared war upon the uh, upon Yubgrid. Han armies are already marching towards the realm of the Kagan Ratigal, and it seems possible that this spells the end of the Yubgrid independence. Well, I think that's far enough away that that doesn't affect me. I'm uh, just going to take a pause for a moment.
Ah, oh, thanks for your patience for that pause. I was just getting a frog in my throat. Now I will try to form this army. I'll put my brother in charge of it. And these are raiders. Looks like he's trying to defend his home territory. He's not going to have much luck with that. Hopefully he doesn't hire mercenaries, so I don't have to hire mercenaries and waste my money. Uh, my income is only positive 10 per month, but I guess that's because I've raised my liege levies. And he's also seized my, uh, this is Tabaristan, is also a trading post, which he has sieged. So hopefully he didn't destroy the trading post while I was raising my liege levies, or levies. All right. Oh, it looks like I've captured him. And... Someone has embraced a heresy, my courtier. I will engage her in theological debate. And I need to find another concubine. Um, oh, that was quick. I turned her around. And now let me check the religiosity. I seem to have managed this uh, one vassal who hates me. Uh, I seem to have managed to understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler I really are. And let's see what her opinion of me is now it's still negative 14 opinion of predecessor title claimant now i believe i can arrest her special character actions arrest her righteous imprisonment 50 percent chance of success i'll attempt to arrest her okay she's in uh and another one has uh become a heretic i will engage them in debate and I now have a rebellion. And my vassal has come back to Zoroastrianism. Now let me check what other provinces are non-Zoroaster. Uh, Zoroaster, Zoroastrianism, Victory, uh, Mazdan, Heresy, Mazdan. Uh, so I will try, is this Manichaean? I will try to change the Manichaean heresy over one of my trading posts. It's my trading posts in general I am most worried about. I will proselytize and proselytize in Gurgan. We request that you honor, is this, oh, somebody is leading a revolt. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Caliph Hussam. I'm related to Caliph Hussam, so I will decline it. I will not join your revolt. I will remain a loyal chancellor. And now I will try to put down this uh, rebellion. So I am trying to both imprison and strip one of the titles from one of the vassals that has hated me for two generations while also getting the rest of the satrap of uh, Barmakine under control. So that will grant me two new titles, which I'll have to distribute. And I have succeeded on a mission as chancellor for the uh, Caliph. Hopefully he is happy with me. And now I can see, uh, there we go, I've reconquered now I will go siege down the uh, Barmakine satrapy. Now, how is my trading post doing? My trading post is still intact. It was looted, but it wasn't destroyed. That's excellent. And in Tabriz, uh, it doesn't even look like it was looted, or at least it's recovered. Now, I need to 
Uh, falsely confess faith, extort subjects. I was hoping I would complete the uh, chain of events for the uh, business focus, the stewardship focus more quickly so I could concentrate on my intrigue focus. News from China, the people of the Yabgid Kaganite probably never knew what the rest of, never knew why the great emperor chose to attack Kagan Ertrigol. Regardless, they have suffered a crushing defeat and Han armies are journeying home to celebrate as their victory has been declared. The dragon is not to be toyed with. So war score. The attacker controls all of their holdings. Okay, I'll have to siege her holdings to win that war and I am besieging the barony there we go I'm trying to fight two wars at once here actually I already have a hundred percent war score so yes I have usurped the uh, sheikdom of Marigara from this. Uh... There we go. I won the de jure war. Now I can just put down this rebel. And I need, or don't need, but I really should uh, acquire uh, more concubines. At least one more, hopefully a genius. I have found out that my superior Grandmaster Mahmud has a guilty pleasure. Despite his sober appearance, when no one is watching, he feasts on wine and treats. What a bad Shia. I have requested a meeting with him and dropped a hint about my recently acquired knowledge. How should I use it to my advantage? Captain of the Persian Caravan Guards. Uh... My superior Grandmaster Mahmud. I want some of his influence, gain 300 divine power and become bitter rivals. I want to win his trust by a promise to be on his side. I want to win a trust by a promise to be on his side. Uh, I would rather have uh, allies of assassins than enemies of assassins. And I can now create the Duchy of Tabriz, but I don't want to do that yet as I don't see an advantage. And I will just break the siege on my trading post. It's only five soldiers. There we go. Now. And actually uh, conquering that extra territory has made the Assad, uh, um, the Assad Empire larger. Now there are Ormond, Kurdistan, and Shazir. Uh, this holder is actually weak. He's not on the Silk Road, but he is, declare, he is weak. So I'm going to move my Chancellor to go fabricate a claim on Kurdistan. Now, what title did I just gain? Another sheikdom. Sheikdom of Megara. Great, I've got 700 gold to build my war chest. My finances are coming along. So I might even be able to finance a war to uh, take care of this empire up here with 1,000 troops. Oh, we have a Midas-touched person in our... Uh, she's a, a Sunni, though, unfortunately. She is Persian, though. So, the okay, this is a mosque. I will have to withdraw. Uh, Mayanch and Coursera. So I will have to withdraw the titles 
of those two holders, Mayach and Coursera. Um, let's see here, Vassals. Yes, Infidel, here we go, my Vassal. So he's going to rebel as well. Hopefully that won't take too long. City of Crucera. So he accepted my decision to withdraw the uh, city from him. Now, I'm putting down this one rebellion. The trade route from Galan is in dire need of new pack animals and equipment to be able to continue bringing in goods to our realm. I need to keep this route running. 200 gold? It's too expensive. Oh, I'd much rather lose 25 prestige. There we go. My dear brother, I was just approached by someone who tried to convince me to join her vile heresy. I hope you can convince her to see sense. Uh, I will engage in theological debate. Your Derek Pat comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring exotic goods by setting up a trade route with the foreign realm. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment, but the potential profits would also be great. Let's organize the expedition. The time has come to purchase pack animals for our planned merchant expedition. Strong and sturdy beasts are available at the market, but they come at quite a hefty price. Uh, purchase them, we'll need the best ones available. Ah, they want my 200 gold for pack animals. Uh, hire a crew of bandits to steal the animals and I would gain arbitrary, but what would that uh, negative two stewardship know? I'll just pay the 200 gold. During my stay at the court of a noble in Tripoli, I have done my utmost to present my liege in a more powerful and a favorable light and have him recognized as the as the good ruler he is. I have succeeded in one of my missions for as Chancellor, Grand Vizier. The word has spread you're planning a trading expedition and a group of herbads have arrived at your court with a request. They are offering temple funds for the journey if you will allow them to come along on the journey. Of course, it will be an honor to have you gain old 80 gold. Uh, no, I'll accept them and the gold. And uh, I have convinced my uh, courtier not to stray. And hopefully I will be able to establish a uh, trading route in for lands. And now I need to appoint um, actually, what? My niece. I'm going to marry her. Oh, I can't marry off my niece. I would have married her matrilineally. My expedition has reached the realm of King Michelle. Your steward asks uh, you what gift we shall bring forth as a token of friendship to King uh, Mercuria or Michelle. And King Michelle is brave, proud, gluttonous, wroth, uh, content. He's proud, he's gluttonous, so do we have food? A dozen strong horses, a chest with quality cloth from back home. A pouch of rare herbs. My courtesy should be enough of a gift. Uh, I will go a dozen strong horses for 30 gold. 
At dinner, you notice King Michelle of McCurry, his face uh, growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward, shoveling his food in uh, with his bare hands. And uh, Mayor Ashia of Gorban Cabus is only acting in accordance to his religion. This is available due, due to my high learning skill. And you're walking idly around the courts of King Michel uh, when you suddenly hear a discussion increasing in intensity around the corner. Turning the corner, you're surprised to see one of the Urbads from your expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger the whole venture. Uh, this must be stopped, which will anger my two Urbads. These heathens must see the error of the ways, gaining zealous trait, monthly piety, martial, uh, religious trait, same opinion. Uh, this must be stopped. I'll take their anger. We're here to make some money. We're traders. After long hours negotiating and discussing possible terms of trade, you and King Michel of Mercuria seem to have arrived at a mutual understanding. This will be a profitable agreement. So, does that mean that I have established... With the new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit the country for a long period of time. So I gain 500 gold, 150 prestige, and a trade route. Gurgan gets trade route until December 30th, 1841. So that's 30 years, giving the following effects. City tax plus 30%. Castle tax 20%, tribal tax 20%, the prosperity of your capital country increases slightly, and I get the wise gets trader, giving the following effects stewardship plus two, and I get business contacts, giving the following effects city vassal opinion plus 10. More money is always needed. Great, now I can. Uh, your Durek Pat has brought in riches to your realm through his competent handling of the trading expedition, and he probably expects to be rewarded with a share of the wealth. I will reward him appropriately. 109 gold. That's a lot. Uh, he was just doing his duty. Uh, how much does he like me? Uh, I will burn him on that one. And I've gained the greedy trait, so my taxes will go up. Now, I think I have won this war against this one. Uh, the revolt against the, the rule of the Sultan has ended. So my one vassal is in jail. Now the vassals that I rejected, I just have to put down. And I only have one title that I have to dispense with. The city of Karsura. And again, I will try to give that to someone in my house. Um, if I could marry my niece, to sh can I marry Bahar off into anyone? You have been presented with an opportunity to let everybody be reminded of your rulership. If you wish to mint new coins for your realm, there's a master of the craft you can hire. Not only will the mintage be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait of you. Mint more cloin coins for the glory, lose 100 gold, gain 100 prestige. Debase the mints with less precious metals for profits. Uh, greedy and deceitful. That would increase my intrigue, although it would reduce my diplomacy, but I really need to, need to boost up my intrigue so I will debase the uh, mints. Uh, young Saja has finished her education in the ways of war. Uh, there we go. And I am one title over my limit but I only have the slightly levy focused ICTA obligations law in the Arabian Empire. So I'm now making monthly income of 27 gold pieces with a balance of 20% a month. Now let me just win this one siege, then I will go defeat these other... Put down this uh, rebellion. So I still haven't found a concubine and I haven't had another child. And 
and in Tripoli, I am still succeeding as Grand Vizier. So I don't think I gained that deceitful trait. I'm still brave, still honest. Mayor Aisha approaches you and presents you a request to buy a small plot of your land in Gurgan. This is a hard decision to take since he promises to pay well for the land. Uh, castle tax, negative 50%, gain 150 gold. Uh, castle tax, negative 50%. Uh, I'll take the 150 gold. So now I do have 1,500 gold, which is quite a bit. Is this rebellion not over, or do I have to siege down the uh, county that's in rebellion? I'm trying to focus on my training, but he is always there, no matter if I am studying the Great Order Library, hid behind piles of books, or sparring with the fellow assassin. Mayor Abu Bakar apparently has to do the same, and he taunts me with snide comments. They are driving me mad. It is really time to really determine who the superior assassin is. Whoa, let me... Uh, well, his intrigue is only six, but mine's only about six as well, isn't it? Mine is seven. Um, it is time to determine who he is. Challenge Mayor Abu Bakar. There, this might have a number of outcomes depending on whether you win or lose and how he takes it. You might learn a permanent or temporary skill, get injured, gain a new friend, or declare a new rival. Let him try. I am not easily provoked. Ignore him and focus on my training. Um, I get focused on the training, learning, intrigue plus two, learning plus one, combat skill plus one. I will focus on my training. Your mad caliph has decided in his infinite wisdom to relieve you of your post of Grand Vizier. Glitterhoof and his, his beloved horse will be taking your place. All right, the liege is insane. Um, I lose 20 prestige, but there we go. And I need a new ambition. And acquire a title. And I will get the Grumman Air ambition to hopefully burst, boost my fertility. And again, I need to find someone to give this Bahar. Can I? I don't have any mail. I could give a land in another. Shirin is from another house. Moose Jaws, Elg. Bahar, can I arrange a betrothal, a betrothal for her? Actually, yeah, the spy master. He won't. My spy master won't accept my um, uh, proposal. Who is he to turn me down? Um, my concubine, Naz, is pregnant. That's great. I think she's quick, at least. Yes, Naz is quick. And uh, lustful and diligent and gluttonous, trusting. Victory, victory. And there we go. I have just... Uh, all right, I have defeated all my enemies. And a noble by the name of Ha Zhuliang came to the court today seeking asylum. He claims to have escaped from China after the rest of his family. After the rest of his family was executed on orders of the emperor. Oh, great sultan, your, your merciful nature is known across the land. I implore you to grant me refuge. It would be an untold kindness. Uh, was there some kind of reward on your head? I will uh, let him stay, but I will secretly send a letter to let the Emperor know. And that's it for uh, today. I uh, put down a couple of rebellions. I arrested uh, a disloyal vassal who I will uh, soon strip a title for. I gained another title. And I could, and I have begun my claim on Ormond, the, uh, and Turistan, Ruristan.
I've sent my chancellor to build a claim on this one independent duchy outside our borders. I gained a de jure sheikdom. I put down a rebellion of the uh, Sunnis who rebelled when I stripped them of their titles. And I arrested my disloyal vassal. So that's it for this episode. If it's your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you receive a notification of my other videos. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and had a good time watching it. I had a good time playing it. Uh, have a good day.